I'm a big fan of palm trees. I like to watch them at sunset. Alone. So today I'm going to show you how to make this palm tree photo. Open Photoshop and we will find the Adobe stock image that I used. I'm going to search for the actual stock ID number to make my life easier. And here's that palm tree photo. Now that we've got our photo, we're going to center these palm trees up perfectly with a vertical guide, which we're going to drag out from the left side of the screen. I can see that the image is leaning slightly to the right, so we're gonna skew the top of the image a little bit to the left. Next, we will crop the image to four x five, which is perfect for portrait mode on Instagram. There's no other size besides four x five and one x one that you're ever going to wanna use. Then use the magic wand tool to select all of the background. You can see I have an, a literal magic wand here, but you can use the one inside of Photoshop. That one works well too. I usually set the tolerance to eight. That seems to be a real good number for me. It selects large swaths of color, but not too much. Then invert the selection so only those palm trees are selected and do a selected mask. Once you're in the selected mask panel, shift the edge down a bit, and I usually set the smoothness to four. Select new layer with layer mask, and that will create a new layer of the palm trees with those palm trees that you just selected. Now create a new layer for the background, and I'm going to create a gradient so the blue is exactly the way I want it to look. Hmm. Oh, my delivery is here. Okay, the next thing I usually do is create a curves adjustment layer, as well as a brightness adjustment layer. It's good to start with how bright you want the image first. Then use a selective color adjustment layer to start fine tuning all of those colors. And you can see that if you drag cyan all the way down to the left, it starts making the bottom of the image pink, which is what I'm looking for. I tend to start with the whites and neutrals colors first because those colors affect most of the image more than the other colors do. And you can see that this is a really experimental process. I'm just going through all of these colors and using those sliders to see how it affects the image. There's no rules here. It's a lawless land. I'm going to recreate the gradient that we started with at the beginning because this isn't exactly the way I want it to look. So I have to recreate it, I don't have a choice. So I'm gonna recreate it in a new layer with an all pastels gradient, which I'm creating right here, right now, live. Now it's a blue, pink, and yellow pastel gradient. I'm going to drag that layer to the top of the image and start using the blending modes to experiment, which is what I do a lot. I love to experiment. I'm liking the way this uh, screen blending mode looks, but it's really washing out those palm trees. So select the palm tree mask that we created earlier and create a new layer of just the palm trees. Bring that layer to the top of your layer list and you can see that now the palm trees are popping again, which is exactly what we want. Poppy palm trees. I'm just going to go through all of my layers one more time to fine tune things. Don't mind me. I 
like the way this looks. We're done here. Bye. Thanks for joining me, Matt Crump, this week for the Adobe Stock Experience with me, Matt Crump. <laughs>